So the big picture for this lesson is factoring quadratic functions. So here's a quadratic function, and of course the question is why would you want to factor this? Well, if you have a function in factored form, it highlights where the x-intercepts are or the zeros of the function. And that can be helpful in terms of graphing or in terms of answering application questions. So the factoring for a function, what you need to do, in this case, the coefficient in front of the x squared is an invisible 1. So what we're going to do is multiply the invisible 1 times negative 3 to make negative 3, 1 times negative 3, and then we need factors of negative 3 that add to make negative 2. Well, since 3 is prime, the only factors are 1 and 3, and we have this negative, so how do we get negative 2? If we do negative 3 and then plus 1, 1 minus 3 is negative 2, so that works. That means the factors are like this. We have x plus 1 times x minus 3. That's the function in factored form. And the x-intercepts would be at 3 and negative 1. Let's look at another one. What if we have... f of x equals 2x squared plus x minus 3. It's the same process. Multiply the leading coefficient, the 2, and then the constant term, negative 3. So 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. What multiplies to make negative 6 and adds to make the plus 1 here, the invisible 1 in front of the x term? So possible factors are 1 and 6 and 2 and 3. Well, if we want to get a plus 1, we'll need to go minus 2 and then plus 3 because those add to make 1. So then to factor it, we're going to split up the middle term into those two pieces, so it'll look like this. So it'll be minus 2x plus 3x and then minus 3. Then we're going to group, so it'll be f of x equals the common factor for the first two terms is 2x that's going to leave an x minus 1, because 2x times x makes 2x squared, and 2x times negative 1 makes negative 2x. The next two terms, the common factor is 3, so I'll put plus 3, and then what's left, x minus 1, because 3 times x makes 3x, and 3 times negative 1 is minus 3. Now the grouping, 2x plus 3 goes together, and the x minus 1. So that is now in factored form. And the x-intercepts in this case would be negative 3 halves, or negative 1 and a half, and positive 1. So that's how you write a quadratic function in factored form. And that's the big picture.